So when was the moment that you look back and think that you lost control? Mm. Uh, probably really about eight, nine months ago. I was involved with a guy who was a, a winner at gambling and we were putting bets on together and of course uh, I'd actually, actually try to match him and I put too much money on I was I kind of I kind of was over broke as it were mm. and I ended up like laying him at the time and of course he ended up winning about 250 grand and of course then I've kept borrowing money to try and get it back and then gambling and trying to get it back and like I said the big thing is that you know uh, borrowing money of friends that's what hurts me the most and uh, it's something I would never and, do. And what do you think it is in you because We've, we're hearing about your story. We know, obviously, there are lots of people who go through this. Is it, is it depression? Is it being bored? Is it a buzz? Yeah, I've got to be honest. I've, I've suffered from depression most of my life. But uh, when I wasn't Willie Thorne, the snooker player anymore, when I first retired, uh, luckily, though, I've been able to kind of do other things in, in life, you know. I mean, I've done Strictly and Mr and Mrs, of course, that Philip does <laughs> and things like that. And, uh, you know, it's just that you want to... It's the limelight, isn't it, I think, yeah. sometimes. And uh, it's... Snooker players have a lot of free time, and footballers have a lot of free time. That's why so many footballers are involved in gambling. And I, th I think the biggest thing, wrong thing with this country is you get credit. That's, that's the biggest problem. Credit and credit cards have ruined this country, and obviously ruined me.